Hi, my name is John Aitchison. I am the owner of Tavern Service in Northridge, California. And today I would like to talk about the types and sizes of beer lines. How long should they be and why do they need to be what they are? There are three basic types of beer lines one will normally find. One that you almost always find on the beer itself is the 3 16 beer line. If you look at that, it is very narrow and it needs to be the right length. That length should be five to six feet for most beers, seven feet for a beer such as Coors Light. And the reason for that is the beer needs to be kept under restriction. Uh, that way the CO2 is forced to stay in solution and you don't get foam. Also, when possible, try to have clear beer line. That way you can see whether or not you need to change it or not. You can also see such things as whether or not there's foam. The other common line one finds in commercial systems is 5 16 line. This is usually used, in fact always used, for CO2. This happens to be the same line which hooks up to the bottom of a CO2 regulator and it is also the one that goes to the side of the coupler. This can be any length that you want. You want it to be long enough so it's easy to change your CO2 tank, but you also want it to be short enough so that it doesn't kink. The last line you, you see is a quarter inch line. This is typically only found in homebrew systems. And the reason is, if you attach a Cornelius keg fitting with a standard bar, it fits perfectly on there. You would use the quarter inch line for both your homebrew beer and your homebrew CO2 line. 